So now let's talk VS Code extensions. So I've uninstalled all the important ones so we can uninstall every single one of them and actually see what it does. So first of all, this is like the default theme. I only, you know, change the default from light to dark because light just hurts my eyes. So the first thing we're going to do is uninstall a theme because this theme, this theme is just bad. It's just really, really bad. So we're going to go to the extensions store and hit the theme, which is the best one around is one dark pro. So we're gonna choose it and there is three variants of it. So we're gonna install it and as you see we're gonna choose from the three uh, Variants I prefer the last one and as you see it's the best one for me And also if we went to look to the files, we're gonna see that it's in different colors more You know clear ones to understand where you at. So this is the first thing The second thing is you see right here these icons are pretty basic So we need better ones. So the ones that I prefer are material and then they're gonna get the first one material icon theme which is gonna give us these uh, icons which is pretty cool so we're gonna click on so and then we're gonna choose them from here and then we're gonna go back and you see these are the new ones which are much 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 better and much uh, easier to use so the thing that we're gonna need also is called prettier so before that let's create like something random let's go function a function that's called e and then we're gonna have like a const right here, for example, that equals nothing. So this is like normally. Uh, as you see, like if we didn't add like this comma right here, you know, it doesn't add automatically. So you need to add it for yourself. For example, if we went and make and take this this way and we click like control S to save, nothing changed. That means we don't have an organizer and we need to have that. So like every time we save, it's organized the code for us and adds these commas uh, if they don't exist. So simply we're gonna use, use pretty. We're gonna go right here and search for pretty, which is the best one to use. And we're gonna install it. Let's see if it works. So probably it's not gonna work in the beginning. So we're gonna go to the settings and we're gonna go here to settings. And then we're gonna search for on save so here in formatting as you see in formatting you click or check with this one so format a file on save that means uh, you format your code when you save and you see right here a formatter must be available which is pretty useful now so now we go back and then try again and sometimes it doesn't work as you see even if we add this and the reason is is that we need to add some few things right here so we're gonna go back to prettier page I'm gonna make sure that prettier is the default one. So we take those inside here, inside here, and we're gonna take them, set the brackets, and go back to settings here, and then we're gonna search for JSON. Because in VS Code, you you can upload from you know install tools from here, or also you can manage them from a JSON file. So this is one. Edit in settings.json, and here here we have all our settings right here. So we're gonna add this here to make sure that this is the new one. So it's not known now, so let's try again, probably not gonna work, no, no, it works. So as you see, it works, it adds the commas, so automatically it adds them, and if you like misplace, you know, one of the elements, it's automatically align them uh, to each other to make sure that your code looks good. So the other thing that we're gonna need, so I was gonna, you know, tell you about tab nine, but I don't think it's that good. Like I've used it for a while right now. I don't think it's that good. If you don't know what Tableau is, it's an AI autocomplete tool. So like you write something and then it predicts the code that you're gonna write. And if you use some code like um, multiple times, it picks up on it and it shows it like when you need it. So that's what Tab9. We have like two tools. There's Tab9 and the other one is called Copilot, which is GitHub Copilot, this one. And for my experience, I prefer this one, so we're gonna install it. So I don't think, um, you know, I think Sub9 is alright, but I prefer this one. So you're gonna install it, and we're gonna make sure you, when you use when you start coding, you're gonna see the difference while using a copilot than not using anything. So this is another icon, uh, another uh, extension done. Let me see my notes. Another one that we're gonna have is auto rename tag. So name tag. This one is very, very important, I think. So let's go back to our HTML. Let's go, this is, we have a tag. So this is a div, it starts here and end here. So for example, if we write something wrong in the tag and we wanna fix it, we have to fix it like here. And then we go back to the other one and fix it if we wanna change it it's the same way. So what it does, this auto rename tag, we're gonna install it. 
and it's very very simple i'm gonna go back right here so if we write something here it's added to the end also and if we like change in the end also it's, it's added to the beginning which is pretty pretty nice so we're gonna have this also let me see what we have another thing that we have let's see for example as you see we have these brackets right here so sometimes when you have a lot a lot of functions you know a lot of uh, you know brackets you might get confused so there's a tool to make sure that you distinguish the them to understand where you're at so and it's called let me see right here brackets and brackets percolarizer which is this one in the beginning so we're gonna install it to see the difference as you, so as you see right here this is like the default one and the new ones they're gonna be like this so these are in blue and these are in pink so they are distinguished and you know where you're at so we're gonna go back to the extension minutes so we're gonna click install so let me see what we're gonna need also uh, so now it's installed if we go back you're gonna see that they are in colors so you see they are yellow right now so other thing that we need right now so other thing that we need we're gonna work with some env files which is this create ones right here which is gonna be an env file that you write something in it so write like variables that we saw them that we don't want to use in our code you don't, you don't need to know much about them before we use them but there is an extension to pre code so when we write something right here so like we have a variable a variable for example let's call it key as you see everything here is in plain white and doesn't look good so there's an extensions to colorize this so i like colors so to make sure everything looks good the the extension name is env such a simple name so we're going to click install and now it's been unsold so now if we, go, if we go back to the env file we see that they are you know colorized so this is like the variable name and this is the value in a different color so other thing we need which is the last one is gonna called as7 which for snippets so this is for snippets it gets snippets for react and redux and react native there is another version which is not this one so we're gonna work on this one this is the real one so we're gonna click so some work with our projects and reacts like we want to create like a functional component you know or any you know and redux and other stuff you're gonna see we don't have to like write everything so we're not gonna go and write like for example function and then the name and the brackets and then return so this we can create like a simple code like refc and then it's gonna generate the code for us so i don't have a react project right here but believe me this one is gonna save you a lot of time so just install it trust me and then we're gonna start to work i'm gonna show you exactly how we work so this is for the extensions i may forget something but i did forget something important so uh when we work in html for example we have vs code have a built-in you know tool that's called the image which is like for example when i create like a, a div with a class name we can go like just point and then we're gonna write the name of the class for example we're gonna name it name so and we create the class username if we want to build like when a span with a name we just name it something and then it gets us first. so this is image and it's built in right here also have options like when i create like a ul and inside this we're gonna create an lr5 m so and it's gonna create a five li inside the ul so it's pretty cool but one of the things when we work on react when we work with gsx it's not js when i work with gsx and write html there probably is not gonna be you know it's not gonna give you this option because it's not known there so there is a way to add this on react so you can get access and use it there also so you go to settings and then you search for emits and when you search for emits i've already already added here so in include languages you can just add it you click add item and then the key you write javascript and in the value you write javascript react and then click ok i've already had it and then automatically image is gonna work on gsx and it's found like in settings.json you're gonna find right here in image those include languages you're gonna find javascript and javascript react so this is the last thing and i forgot it and i had to add it to the video so you don't forget so this is all we need for uh, vs code extensions if something new come up i'm gonna tell you of course while recording so see ya